that actually started on time. But we're heading to the draft where we're going to try and somewhat do At our job. <laughs> our team, once again, sadly falls. We got, we got another second round. There was another first. We got another first. From Tampa. Winnipeg Win in the Hellebuck trade. Because we traded Bobrovsky and the other guy. Okay. I think our our big need is just forwards. Defense isn't really an issue at the moment. We need goalies. We have goalies. We have one goalie, literally. Yeah, and he's going to be there for six years. <sighs> we don't really need to worry about drafting a goalie right now. Or actually, we should at some point. If there's a goalie that's like literally like okay, you have to draft this guy, we'll take him. But like, really isn't. And surprise, surprise! For the fourth straight year, the Pittsburgh Penguins are the Stanley Cup champions. What is this? The 1980s New York Islanders? Jesus. Yep. How does this happen? NHL 18. Explain your logic. How does Pittsburgh win four straight Stanley Cups? Where are we? We Not have here. the Winnipeg first pick, and which sucks because I don't think we actually. They did just as well. <laughs> I feel like they made like the Cup final somehow. The retired players. Oh, Yogs. Yager. What a beast! Couldn't go out in the blaze of glory, unfortunately. But you know what? His time was done. Oh, sir. We had the most successful retired player on our team. So going into this draft, we really have real, like we have a set strategy, but we really don't have like, uh, we have to get this guy type of thing. Like it's just more making our core and shit much stronger. So, all right, so the Winnipeg Jets first pick is not until number, tw oh, we picked 26, fifth and 26, back to back. So ideally, we could use this pit trade to trade up to like a top. Holy shit, these two have the same thing. The idea is to trade up for a top five, like a three to five type of pick. That's the idea. So three. Let's start with the number three pick and work down, I guess. If that doesn't work, then we'll trade for the Rangers pick. Like, and so on. I am willing to lose those two picks if it means getting a decent player in it. Code Kaniami, actually, he's turning out to be a good center. He's already developing like we want him to. He's playing for the American Hockey League. So that's good, I think. <clears throat> I really don't, We don't have many prospects to trade away, which sucks. We aren't very, very... We aren't very deep in the prospect core. Not at all. This may just mean settling and just hoping that we draft some gems in the late rounds. Or, I guess, settle for a lower pick. Because we're not getting the third overall pick. No. We could, however, go for like the 10th pick. And at least get something. Or the 8th pick. We can like pick in the 7th to 10th range. Start with the number 7 pick. Because those, are the, like, those two picks are all we've got, really, for a trade. Like, see, this could work out. Maybe add something we need it, but... Okay. So that doesn't work. And we know the Hurricanes have a pick. We know Detroit has a pick. <clears throat> At some point. I really don't know what we're supposed to trade here. We could trade, like, this guy. We could trade one of these guys. It should be enough just to... There we go. Right. So we have the seventh overall pick in the draft, which is nice. That does mean, however, we lose the right to draft these guys. However, if we find a way to acquire this back, the 25th pick somehow, what would it mean, though, giving up? Because I don't want to give up Carlson. He's our best defensive prospect. Really not much we can do here. And trading this as a collective for the pick won't work. Or will it? No, it won't. The test is. The test do. I know it really doesn't make sense to just trade it and then trade it back, but like, I don't know, really. I really have no other options.
All right, so what do we got for centers? We've got these guys, and then we got Kokaniemi on the on the up and up. All right, so that's I guess okay. <clears throat> on the left side, there's really no one expendable here. Only on defense is there really anybody who's considered expendable. Savard. Savard is expendable, yeah, but like this would leave this incredibly weak. Unless, okay. We get a free agent. <clears throat> however, however, if we think of it this way, let's look at the draft class for a second. This is supposed to be an extremely good draft class. How, while we won't get a forward, however, we can use that seventh pick we have to trade up, to trade this guy, or get this guy. That would be better. Use that seventh pick and other pieces to acquire the third pick, and we draft Barrett. That we could do. Because he's the only defenseman, other than these two down here, and I'm not really going to take these guys. He's the only defenseman out inside the top five that would work. So, maybe let's use that seventh pick as leverage to trade for the third pick. That, that would be an idea. That would be a decent idea. And then we could have the defenseman we want. That would replace Savard. There he is. Immensely. Although, unfortunately, if Flyers would have more than 45 skaters in the organization, that would be a problem. We'll trade for... What the f What? Is there any of these young blebs? Like this guy. He's not young. But he's getting paid very cheap. Here. I mean, it says we did a good job meeting the block needs, so we could just add some other pieces to the team, or pieces to the trade. If we have any more pieces, that is. Oh my goodness, jeez. Okay, there we go. Code Kaniemi. Latestu. We could arguably pick up anybody else. Probably boom would. and boom. Actually, defensemen are the things we need. Why are we trading them as soon as I bring up the fact that we need the... Aw, oh, shit. Latestu. But, but the problem is, is they can't take in more contracts. Okay. They're, they're right at the bridge with contracts. That's why you need to put Latestu if it's going to work. He's the only one with value. Or do that. Or whatever that works. And now we're picking third overall. So we have the defenseman we want. We got rid of our expendable prospects. And now we're picking number three. Sim pick. I'm kind of sad we couldn't pick him. But, you know, not a big deal. Ooh, yes, he didn't take the defenseman we wanted. All right, and with the third overall pick... The Columbus Blue Jackets, when we this eventually loads today from the Saskatoon Blades. We have no scouting on him. Joseph Barrett. Okay. He's a medium out late, but he's going to take a while. He may take at least a year. But he's a defensive defenseman, so he'll fit nicely. All right, let's see how the rest of these... God damn. Okay, it's a forward, so... We didn't need a forward, per se, but it's going to be interesting to see how the rest of this... We're not trading your... We're not trading future assets for old farts. Wheeler could have taken the center at that pick, but we don't need a center. This is kind of how the rest of the draft is playing out. We're going to... We're not offer a trade for the pick. I don't want the pick. I'm happy with the picks we made. We're going to sim to our next pick. Which is, I don't think, until late in the second round. Wow, we didn't even have a second round pick. That is lovely. I don't even know how the rest of the first round went. That's new. A high top six. Wasn't very good, though. No elites yet. Starters. A lot of starters, but they're not very good starters at the point. They're like in their 50 overalls. They're like projects. At this point in the draft, they're like prospect picks or projects. Good trade and value. Yeah, that's it. For like a year or two, they have good trade value. This makes no sense. All you're taking are bottom six forwards and seven defenders. This is a weak draft class. Or either that or no one has any idea how to draft. Nope. So let's try and draft. 
let's actually show these guys how you're supposed to draft. Seriously. Let's see if there's actually any first. Let's see if there's any p potential players we can draft. Do we have picks in every other round? I think we have other picks in like other rounds. We just we can wait till the fifth, I guess. Try. We could wait till later in those rounds. See, the problem is, is there's like no real guarantees. There's no guarantees. Anyway. Except for those top nine forwards, there's no guarantees. Go big or go home. I'm kind of just. This is kind of a gamble draft. Like you know, if, if if we don't get a good pick, we don't get a good pick. It really doesn't matter. Bertuzzi. We're taking Bertuzzi, and he turns out to be a bottom six. I mean, it's been like that for the entire round, so it's not like I'm really mad. Seventy. 70. Six, bottom six forward. There really hasn't been much to talk about. There's one low elite. Congratulations. Wow, you actually were one of the lucky teams to pick a low elite player. Okay. Can the Blue Jackets actually pick something? We've been sitting here for a while just pick, making picks blindly. Okay. This is the fourth round? Yeah. So we're gonna We don't want we don't want any exacts. These are these are picks I'm taking gambles on. What do we want? Forwards. There's that high elite or medium elite. I feel like he's gonna take a shit in value though. But really there's no other options, like Okay. Okay, better than the fucking bottom six. And the next pick they take in the lead. And another elite. And another elite. And then a bottom six. And then a fringe starter. Fun times. Okay, so Patrick Maroon and Weidman. I'm not actually really considering this really? trade. I just want to entertain the offer. No and no. That's a terrible offer. Literally, when they offer you that stuff, they're just trying to Jew you. If anyone takes an elite that's a medium elite in any of these rounds, outside of the first round, it seems, I'll be stunned. Okay. Come on, let's pick something good here. We have, like, nothing to show for this draft except that one good player that we picked. I'm drafting on potential and just hoping that they aren't completely shit. And there's no elites left. Alright, so we're gonna take, I guess, an exact top nine wouldn't hurt. It's a grinder of power. Let's take the defender because that's our need. I mean, I'm not really expecting much. What? They've given us two draft picks. One's that... Literally, they'd be picking three spots higher. Sure. Take it. <laughs> I really don't understand. They just picked a low top nine forward. Yeah. And we got two picks out of it. 49? Did I read that right? <laughs> Good luck for developing that. Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. Oh dear. Alright, so we have this pick and then an additional seventh round pick. See, when the Devils make offers like that, it's okay. Alright, Turakov. Here we go. He's a high top seven. He could be something. Oh. He gets worse. Good drafting, boys. Good, I think good on scouting. anyone's part, this drafting just sucks. Good scouting, boys. The scouting's been shit for everyone. This has not been a good draft class. Outside the top ten, the draft class sucked. We're taking the unknown center. <laughs> that didn't really work out. Ah, uh, Sid. Well, this has not been a very remember memorable. And the last pick. Our last draft pick of the season will ever live in infamy. We will we'll, we'll take this name because he's got like a fancy name and he should just like that rest. Just an absolutely atrocious draft. We will not be returning. 
Do not pass. Go. <laughs> there was absolutely nothing to write home about for that pick. Go directly to jail. <laughs> Go directly to next season. Jesus Christ. Okay, we've had two 50-win seasons in a row. Both of them have fizzled out really mm -hmm. quick. Might want to get to the... Well, we have, what are our contracts? What are our contracts looking like? Let's get the calculate meter out. He's wanting $5.1 million for four years, but I'm trying to keep him for the eight. <laughs> That's, like, cheap as fuck. Let's bring him in for that, especially if he grows. Absolutely what does grave he want? problem. He wants 6.275 for eight years. Zero point eight. We'll give him 5.35. Give him 5.4 just to... We have $15 million. Let's give him something. Milano wants back... Continuously wants more. We'll give you that. I'm really just. If they're one year contracts, it's not like it's really gonna. You're gonna do that? I'm literally just gonna give them exact dollar on this. It's literally pennies for this. Like when they're contracts that are two way, I'm not gonna try and negotiate much because they're kind of just like, eh. It's the big contracts I try and keep you around for. Jesus, I hate having to sign minor leaguers and just having to push a button over and over again. Isn't it fun, man? Like, these guys aren't even that good. Yeah, no. They're just scrubs. And minor leaguers sure should want to come back. They're not that good. They're not going to get a job anywhere else. Probably not. <laughs> Anybody below 70 overall that hasn't... Actually, I'm probably going to sign you all. Let's be real here. I just want to be able to like have a button where I like sign them all at once. Actually, I'm probably gonna sign you all. Let's be. Broadhurst wants back. Davidson wants here. These guy wants here. Hmm. pick in the first round beret no it was yeah I think it was it was why a defenseman 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 he was 73 yeah why the hell is he not on here he should be on here we did pick him hold on there he is Barrett all right how do you say it we're bringing him in especially he's probably gonna be on like our friggin minor league team he may only take a year before he's ready to play on the big boy league. Gonna flex my quad while I'm waiting. <laughs> Come on, Wierenski's on the team, boys. We got him for eight years, like the jewiest contract in the world. All right, how much money do we have? Probably enough to make a splash in free agency. We need a defenseman. We have approximately eight, well, nine million. That's enough to make a signing. And still be relevant. We can get a defense one that would help. I think we have Depending nobody else we have to worry about. What about next year's contracts? What are the contracts we have to worry about next year? Dubois. Oh, fuck. Dubois, Toffoli, Letestu, Milano. Anderson, Stolarz. Oh. That's not exactly anything big. Just these two. Shit, we could probably sign him next season. Well, maybe not Toffoli, but definitely Dubois. If Toffoli doesn't want to stick around, that's too freaking bad. We're going to have to trade him. If you, like, don't want to come back... Why would you sign him? Well, not even just that, but, like, why would you overpay him to come back? Because you're desperate for players. The only player I've ever signed like that out of desperation was Timothy Liljegren. In my Vegas GM mode. That's fair. And he was solid. Alright, so we got Drew Doughty. 
at the age of 29. <laughs> well, and we have McDonough. We have Mitch Marner. We would have to lose a pick for that to happen. So many of the best players are just RFAs. Any prospects this year? No. There are absolutely no prospects. Like the last GM mode where he had like so many prospects you could just sign them all on the limb. Well actually he would work. Got a couple of them. Geeky. Twenty and seventy. <laughs> not bad. But he's like got a low potential, so it's not very big. What about goaltending? Sign a serviceable bat. Hey look who's on the free agency market. Corpusalo, bring him back. No. He wants. I'm afraid not. Yeah, we don't have money for that shit. What about prospects? Any? No. But bringing a backup would be nice. There's like none here. Not yet. Um. Alright, so let's see what Dubois would want. And if Toffoli wants back. They want back. I know Dubois. Oh, they both want an extension. Sweet. So we know we can keep these guys around. What are they wanting? That's fair for Dubois. That's fair. He's pretty good. You, on the other hand, no. Actually, okay. It literally is $400,000. Like, at his peak, it's like 5.9, and that's at six years. And it's the same for between one and three years. If we could sign him for like five, that'd be decent. Because we'd have him in his prime. He wants oh, I need to go to the washroom real quick. You want me to do that signing? Yes. All right. Let's try and sign them both to the 85% and try and lock up Dubois to, to fully, eight years. To fully like, and Dubois? Yeah, those are the two we only need to acquire. We're we'll trying to do the full eight years. Or not, sorry, Dubois eight years to fully five. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do. He wants 7.625. Just a moment here, just making sure. 7.625. Okay. We can, uh... Give him about this much, we'll say. We'll give him a little Jim Benning bonus. There we go. And then Tyler to Foley. What does this man want? Up on six. Okay. It should be, we'll give him five mil for five years. About you. <laughs> I thought we were. Yeah, that can be a problem for later. Like testing. Looks like you're going on the trading block, buddy. First man to go on there. Ah, oh, fuck that. Okay. What is he? <laughs> Does he have any value anymore? A little bit. A test do. Maybe. Just to see what we can get. Who else? What? That? No, that's not him. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, so we'll, right. we'll see if they accept those offers. So how'd it go? Let's see. Advanced day. Huh. You can take over now. No, we're not getting a reunion happening here. Did you know what you offered them to? The 85? Yeah. 
Should be. That's palm move rejected. That's not exactly. Wow. Oh, we may not have contract room. Oh, we got to Foley back. That's nice. And Dubois. Nice. There we go. That's all set. Thank goodness. So that was really all we had to do. And let's see. This guy, well, we can bring back if he doesn't want too much money, which he does. <laughs> no, I put him on trading block. Him and Milano. Yeah. Just to get something stirring. Get something going. We wouldn't mind this guy back. How much does he want? Sign for like a $1.9 million deal over that time. And bring in Stolars for like pennies. We'll have room to bring him back. Thank goodness. We actually got our... The nice thing about Columbus is, is like their players don't want to sign for too expensive. Damn, bear or not. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we still have... We can still get in on Tyler Sagan. We can still get in on... Mm, Doty. Although those would all run us freaking... On the cap. Yeah, that would like give us no money. But I mean... Jake Gardiner, he has no teams interested, and he only wants three years. Hmm, what is he? Is he an offensive defender? He's a two-way defender. How would he fit in with the rest of the team? That's the issue. Problem is, is what will our cap look like if we signed Gardiner and had like no one else. Cause like our defenders look pretty good right now. We have one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six defenders. That's fine. And they're all relatively young. They all haven't hit that exact, the cursed exact. But question is, is trade them. They're useless. Well, we need them for the minor league team. What's our contracts looking like? We don't have enough contracts to support people. So, here's the, what I'm thinking. Time to trade some of these freaking contracts. We're gonna try and get some picks out of these guys. Trade them to a team that really doesn't care about what we're picks. We'll trade them to a hopeful. get some picks get some draft capital see so if we can get their third and fourth round picks dang it how about they're just their third round how about their fourth and fifth dang it. how about they're just their third round how about just their fourth there we how go we got a fourth round fourth pick out of that fifth. deal for prospects that will never turn into anything. There we go. We got a That's good. Pick out of that deal. We have so many American Prospect Hockey League players. It's crazy. Time to ship them out. <laughs> we have a lot of American Hockey League centers. So we'll trade one, two, three to another team. For something that isn't complete garbage. So like a fourth round pick. Fourth round picks can actually turn to something, especially in a good draft year. No, they even want to give it up. You go for a third. <laughs> yeah, it's too much, buddy. Dang it. How about just a fourth? Really? That's... How about the fifth and sixth? There we go. It's draft picks. Take them. Because we now have one, two, three, four, five, That's six, seven, eight, nine season. picks. Now we can use a couple of these picks to trade up for a third. That'd be great. We're straight up trying to trade for a third. Latestu. Trades him right away. No shame. Trade him to a trade him to a rebuilder. Not really many rebuilders right now, except for Calgary. 
Fucking Calgary. You don't even have a third pick. All the hopefuls. Perfect. That should go through. How about the fourth pick, too? There we go. Nice. Nice. The, we just continue to get draft picks. Building up for next. Hopefully it's a good draft year. <laughs> for what's hoping to be a good draft year. We just start throwing shit away on a draft we don't even know about. Mm -hmm. I think we'll be good for now. We did all we had to do. We gotta get rid of Latestu before the end of the year, I think, though. Mm -hmm. Because he... We'll have him for this year, but at the draft, we'll put him away for a pick. Or actually, no, we can't, because... He's old. Well, not to mention, his contract ends. We they don't want to him at the deadline. That's why he's on the trading block. Milano's understandable. He's young. Mm -hmm. But I thought I'd put him on there. <laughs> Get him and another for maybe like a second or a first round pick, or put him towards that pick. Or trade him to a team that we already know is going to be bad next year and hope that they just have a worse year than we do. Because who had the first pick last year? Buffalo? Yep. We had... We could trade him to the Kings. The Kings ended up picking shit. Yeah, they were about really okay. The Kings picked like shit, and we took their picks. What do we got? They don't want to give up that first so willingly. <laughs> but it'll be an investment. If it works out, it works out. Well, you're, hope you're really hoping we don't. I'm really putting all the eggs in that basket that we don't tank. This, this is don't. I think our team is strong though. Look at our con, like con, look at our team's like status, and maybe like like that would kind of give you a sense that hey, we're looking for another playoff berth. We're a champion team, even though we haven't actually won a championship. We haven't even gone past the first round. That's why I'm like, okay, calm down. We're not exactly that good yet. Bertuzzi, we're trading away all of our non-contracts. Hmm. Seems like a little much. For a first round pick from a shitty team. Calgary. <laughs> they had a shit year and they're probably gonna be still shit. Even with all those forwards. We can get away without trading those guys. We may have to put those two guys back. <laughs> Any pick that's better than ours is a win. Bertuzzi. Any pick that's better than ours is a win. All right. Well, we don't want to freaking trade all our roster players away too because we still need a team. We need a center, don't we? That was our thing for free agency. Problem is, is like but the defenseman was the thing. That too, but we got rid of savvy. There's like Spezza. there's Spezza. Bennett, but you gotta give up shit. Yeah, since he's like an RFA, we'd have to give up a pick. Sagan. Plakenix. Vermette. They're gonna get like a year contract. Mm-hmm. JT Comfer. Why not? Go with. What? Oh, I guess. Mm, that makes sense. Okay. Zingle. It's all freaking too much just for a center. Alright, you know what? Coach Kanyemi might almost be ready by next season. Let's hope so. All right, we're going to send him to next season, boys. The jackets are still... St Oops. <laughs> Anderson's sweet. Solar's sweet. We got him back. Anders Lee and Derek Ryan. No. To the ja the Coyotes for... Or to the jackets for a first and a second. How good is he? I'm afraid not. Oh, my God. Who would do that? Well, our first brown pick's gonna suck. So we really don't have much value. No. Same trade. He's 
just going to sit and wait until we actually. Sam Bennett. Now that's an intriguing one. Thomas Bennett. We don't want Bennett, but this would be an interesting trade. However, it's not worth giving up our first pick. I never like giving those up. Giving up firsts are a bad idea. They're literally asking you to get bit in the ass. No, we're not taking your shit. That's way too much. No, no, they're asking for at least straight up for the pick. That's even worse. No. He accidentally hit accept. <laughs> Is it slow? We're not trading to the Canucks. Daniel Sedin still rolling around, crawling on the ice. <laughs> Jesus. Shut it down, buddy. All right, boys, year number three will soon begin. And with the Columbus Blue Jackets, we really have a lot of expectation with this team getting better each and every goddamn year. Like, come on, how does this team not make any noise? The test two went down by one. That's lovely. We now know he's not coming back for sure. <laughs> like, come on, how does this team at least not make a bit of noise? What do we got in defense? Now this is where it can get interesting. We have three defensemen who are good, great. And then we have fucking. Then we have shit. then we have him who's on the way up. Well, he's good. He's on the way up, so that's good. And then there's these two who okay. will serve as good bottom pairing defensemen, and Connor Hellebuck, yeah, still good, still and good. still ours. Well, he'll do. Well, that beast. In the minor league, well, we have these guys. Serve their purpose. And in the minor league team, well. Yes, that point. Eh? Not the, the worst. At least they're all yellow. And on the defense, we have our boy, I think. Nope. Oh, here he plays in the CHL. Never mind. Best. It's best that we do that. Okay, let's start the preseason, I guess. All right, let's check, because we can check our prospects here and see if Barrett grew a bit. Will he be ready for next year? 73. Well, he didn't grow over the summer. He'll grow next season, though. He'll grow over the season. And then when he comes back, he'll be better. So let's sim to the preseason. A lot of expectation going into year number three. Two consecutive playoff berths, over 50 wins in both seasons. Neither of them amounted to anything. We need some experience on our team. I think with two consecutive first round failures I think that's experience enough to get a kick in the ass and show alright it's time to actually play scouting assignment my favorite part defenseman is what we really need this season and we drafted one last year that's great but we need another we need the defensive core to be complete especially if Seth Jones or Ryan Murray decide to fuck off after a couple of seasons <laughs> well we took a massive shit in the preseason after those first three wins so let's sim up to the opening day of the year against the Tampa Bay Lightning. So we're set to take on a very filled Eastern Conference with the exception of Arizona, the Kings, and Vegas. Very filled Eastern Conference schedule, as you would assume. For this mm. team, we have a lot of expectations. My expectation is that we make the playoffs as a champion status team. I expect us to make the playoffs. If we don't, well... That's disappointing. I may do a scorch burn earth with this team and fucking start from scratch or go f get younger and maybe play shittier but get better in a few years time because I can't keep dealing with this like this we have one goal we are off to the races with three consecutive losses but we picked it up with the back to back alright this will be an intriguing team to me it really will be an intriguing team how good will we actually be? Oh, shut up. We made up for those is likely to be a bit weaker, but usually when they say that, they turn out to be the strongest draft class in fucking history. 
So I'm not even going to believe that for a second. <laughs> We're once again not going to make any of these trades. Oh, maybe Silverberg will listen if his actual if he's actually good. Silverberg. Um, no. Not quite there. Well, well, if that second round pick and that fourth round pick weren't part of the deal, I'd maybe consider. But yeah, Carlson wasn't part of that deal. If it was someone else. Hey, we got Latest too. If anyone's well, interested. Well, we split the back to back, and we end the month on a mediocre note. Once again, kind of like last year. That's fine to start. <laughs> At least we were above 500 again. Okay, what do we got? Who's and leading? we sit in a playoff spot. Wenberg leads our team. That's he should be, though. That's funny. <laughs> we're once again quietly just trucking along here. Oh. I really don't understand what our issue is. Like, we just I maybe just aren't that complete of a team. We just need to get better. All right, here we go. Month number two. This is usually where we pick it up, so I'm expecting more of the same. Drafting defenseman is still our goal. Big time. Maybe a goalie eventually, but not right now. Well, making strides. We're getting points. And then we drop one to the Jets like that. And now we've lost all faith in humanity. <laughs> Spurge, get out of here. Um, Why? If we could do better, that'd be fantastic. Maybe we may have to take on that trade like that. Because like our team will not fully be good until we legitimately pick up a good set of players. At least, well, we picked up the back-to-backs. We're getting, we're showing flashes of promise here and there, but then all of a sudden, the minute I begin to think, oh, we might actually be good, <laughs> three straight losses. Well, I mean, our second month, like I say, played a lot better than our first month. Well, now it's a win to end the month. That's good. 69-1. Once again, proving we're still strong enough to make the playoffs. Atkinson. We're still in a playoff spot. Not by much. By like three points. When we're better than the other division leader. That's kind of awkward. That's pathetic. And the Coyotes are oh somehow better than we are. <laughs> this league has been extremely close, though. There's really no, like, runaway leader of the pack type of guy. Like, our team is not scoring. It has progressively gotten weaker each and every year for scoring. No one can score on this team. No, we should have got Vanek. We don't have a sniper, and our supposed snipers can't snipe. What do we got in free agency that's left in the discount bin that we might be able to get for a year? We're not going to go that route. <laughs> the discount bin. Bergevin's 80-year plan. Now that you do bring that up, though, I've never really checked this out. What is he still doing here? What is Drew Doughty still doing here? Hey, no one wants to sign him for his cheap-ass contract of 4.5. What is he doing here? Why are we not offering him a contract? That's a real question. Oh. Oh, yeah, he only wants a year. <laughs> sign Doughty, become strongest team in the league. You might How is well. Ottawa still interested? I'm actually going to entertain this and see what happens. I would laugh if we got him somehow. That would be amazing. We're going to sign Hetherington because he could turn to something. I don't understand how the hell some of these guys just found their way out here. <laughs> Alright, if we could sign Drew Doughty against all odds... Well, we have two st solid pairings. Over, like, basically. <laughs> that was quick. I was extremely happy to accept you. I'm because just... no one was willing to sign with your team! <laughs> Rogers can fuck off. <laughs> uh, Why? I don't know. Well, welcome to the team, Drew Doughty! Wait, what, what's he doing here? Why is he not on the NHL? What? 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 Is he scratched? Where, where is he? 
I signed him, no. What's he now doing in the NHL? Where'd he go? Oh, he's scratching. He's in the AHL. What? <laughs> Why are you not up in the NHL? Now you, you can't bring him up. <laughs> Has to clear waivers. What the uh, fuck? You're coming up, Drew Doughty. That's happening. Sorry, um, Summer B. I think this has to happen. I'm afraid so. <laughs> I'm afraid so. Yo. Bro. Like, br bro, though. Like, come on. How does Drew Doughty stick? the system much. We didn't get any draft luck in the draft, so... May as well get it from the... Why is he still scratched? Jesus Christ. It's because when we brought him... Best lines. Okay, there we go. <laughs> This isn't even fair now. We got like the four best defensemen. Oh yeah, who's gonna stop us? Somehow loses more. So what? We're if we lose in the first round. Defense wins championships. There must be some way we can. I mean, we've gotten stronger now. Oh sweet, and we got him too. Well, this is nice so far. I um. I don't even know what to say. Well, we won back to back and shoot out. If that's any consolation. <laughs> wow. We lose to the flames. Dowdy! Bust signing. You blew it! Sends him immediately to another team. <laughs> I mean, we could trade him for something if we really suck. We don't. If we suck, or if we just tank mm -hmm. but it ain't looking that way it looks like we're once again on our way back to the playoffs use Doughty as a way to get the first pick in the draft he gets a one year contract that was kind of my idea I saw him there I'm like oh maybe we can actually get a pick with this it's kind of screwing around with the system but you know I really don't care no doesn't look like we're really get, the way things are moving. It doesn't look like we can. Oh, well, we technically are on pace to win 50 games, but I just don't see it happening. I'm still looking at defensemen because you all know I'm likely to give this up. Around Doughty. the world, the rest of the world, we're not trading him. But I want to give him Doughty to a team where, like, even with them being a player, like even if you'll help the team get better they won't improve enough to get out of the play into the playoffs yeah like they're so far down it can't even help them and maybe since he's a first like since it's considered a first overall pick type caliber or whatever you know what I mean you know my plans we're not trading Coke Katniemi He's literally our one hope at center if those two start to turn to shit. We should look into forwards, though. We shouldn't completely ignore forwards. Do, have... do that two-week scouting assignment. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Might be as effective as other stuff. Looks like we're actually not as strong. Maybe he got injured. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Mitch Marner? For Barrett. Bozak and a Come third. Come on, you can't do that. How good is Marner? How good is Marner? He's still not signed to a contract? Is this game broken? Yep. This game is broken. Oh, Doughty 30 man. wins, finally. Jesus Christ. I like how you like saying finally as like, finally. Bruh. Took so long. Bruh, we're still like... Honestly, Probably hit 30 wins faster than most of these teams. Scouting. 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 Fucking Snapchat. We're not trading for Mitch Marner. Why not? 
We're on a four-game win streak. I want Marner. Make that a five-game win streak. Marner. Levo, oh, oh my God. God. We're on a four-game win streak. I want Marner. We're on training for Mitch Marner. Make that a five-game. Make that a six-game win streak. Levo, oh my God. We're on a four-game win streak. I want Marner. We're on training for Mitch Marner. Make that a five-game. Make that Tashi a six-game. trades. Doughty loses in first round because of trade. God. Well, it was 21 minutes ago, but apparently we didn't get in the way. That uh, Hazardous has followed. So thank you for following if you're still watching this for whatever reason. But, uh, yeah. Hazardous. We don't have the notifications. So thank you for following if you're still watching this for whatever reason. But, uh, yeah. Hazardous. We don't have the notifications. But we'll get there. We got another impressive trade for you. No. It looks like we're. Wow, you ignored the scout. We got another I like how. No. Okay, this game is somehow broken. It looks like we're. Wow, you ignored the scout. We got another I like how. All right, we've hit 40 wins now. Okay, this game is somehow broken. Is that it? It looks like we're. All righty then. All right, we've hit 40 wins now. All right, so we are currently on the track for a playoff push, for a playoff spot, basically. Once again. Right, Doughty, so million dollar we question. Do we trade for the pick? Right. Playoff spot, basically. Well, I mean, our pick's gonna be right. Doughty, million dollar question. Especially, question. Especially if we make a run to the Stanley Cup like we envisioned. So it would be a stupid Doughty, idea to trade Doughty at this point, though. Especially mm, if we make look at all that value. You can get like 18 like picks. So it would be a get him and a roster player. At this point, and it's to the. A mediocre yeah, defenseman to replace him. Get him uh, who was the team we were looking to trade with? I completely forgot to check who was last place. The Detroit Red Wings. Just in the East. The Detroit Red Wings. You fucking kidding me, dude? I'm gonna have to roast you about this. It's the same picture every time on the Snapchat to the same woman. Kidding me, dude. Does she really like your side hair that much? Every time on the Snapchat to the same woman. All right, Drew <laughs> Doughty. Really like what are we gonna get? Can yeah, we get a decent defenseman too? All right, <laughs> Drew Doughty. Boquist. Get Boquist. Bish the fuck. Yeah. All right. Can this actually go through? Yeah. I would laugh really hard. Yeah. Oh. Wait, why? How do you not take Drew Doughty? Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, you're giving up a stupid pick. That's all. Stupid first overall pick. How do you not take Drew Doughty? Pricks. I don't understand. But look, stupid. Stupid. You give him that. Stupid first overall pick. How do you not take Drew? I don't understand. I swear. I will end you. <laughs> How do they not accept that? That's like so much. I will end you. Alright, how about just How Doughty for the pick? That? That's I, like I so want much. a replacement for Doughty. Temporarily. Just, just, just calm down. Alright, how about just, just see this happen? Glending. Who the fuck is How do you not accept? Look at the values. No. We're a shit team. Dude. It's the same photo every time. I don't. Alright, looks like we're not turning down. It looks like we're actually going to run this No, trade him. Every time. He's going to leave. Right, like Check if he wants an extension. Like oh, no, trade him. In the contracts. If he doesn't, he's gone. He's going no to leave. Right, like Check if he wants an extension. Snap snap no matter how many Snapchat things you do, he's gone. And he wants even more. No matter how many Snapchat things you do, he's gone. You want a toxic player who doesn't want to be here like Ryan Kessler? I don't even have the cash to offer him an extension. Kick him out. Goddamn like scum. Kessler. No! I don't even have the cash to offer him extension. I accidentally advanced him! Oh, wait a minute. We can propose God trade. Never mind. Scum. Uh, no! Sid, you nearly killed us. Alright, Dowdy, we're trading you to a team. <laughs> Who's shit? No! 
Calgary, welcome. killed us. Do you want right, to give up the pick? <laughs> you to a team. Yes. How good is our team? Oh, shit. Oh, they Calgary, are fucking terrible welcome. if you looked at the record. Do you want right, to give up the pick? <laughs> Here we go. Yes. Looking at any other shit teams that are potentially... Vancouver. Vancouver. Probably we trade you to the Flames. Here you go. Okay, what's the pick? Calgary would be over the salary cap. We can just retain all the fucking salary. Who cares? Am I right? Calgary would be over the like salary. Half of it, I guess. We can just retain all the fucking salary. And then see if we can get something else too. Sweeten the deal. Like half of it, I guess. We can just retain all the fucking salary. And then see if we can get something okay. else too. Hmm? That guy. That guy? That guy. Yes, this guy. Yeah. Hello, Mac. Not well enough. Are you kidding okay. me? Okay. We are literally giving you a franchise defenseman, and you're just like, nah. We'll give you uh, the test, well dude. What is he? Okay. We are literally giving you a franchise we didn't get rid of him. somewhere. And you're just like, he is. He lost nah. all value, but we'll give you him anyhow. We are literally giving you a franchise we didn't get rid of him. What? And you're just like, he is. He lost nah. all this value. This is impossible. We can go straight up. Then they can get you. The Panthers are pretty bad. Just somehow makes the playoffs. I swear if they do. The Panthers are pretty bad. But then again, it's like a free player. Okay, that's like... Just somehow makes the playoffs. Insane if he did that. I would destroy you. But then again, it's like a free player. How about... That's like... Destroy... Why is there nothing defense-wise? The, the raring kitties aren't happening then. That's like... Maybe we want Boquist. Trades him straight up for Boquist. No, wrong, 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 wrong. wrong. Trade him straight up for Boquist. Okay. No, Trade it to wrong, Buffalo. They miss wrong, the playoffs and wrong, get the first wrong. overall somehow. Capitals have fallen no, from grace. Trade it to wrong, Buffalo. They miss the playoffs and wrong, get the first overall. Rebuilding team. R -r Rebuilding Capitals team. I see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not the way I do that. Rebuilding team. To the Rangers. The Islanders are pretty shitty. To the Rangers. Here we go. To the Rangers. What? You you met in the block. The I'm afraid the franchise defense is not Rangers. quite enough. Alright, fuck that. We're just making a run for the cup. What? <sighs> Literally, no team's going to accept it. Trade him for a second round. We're not trading him for a second pick. <sighs> trade him for both. We're trading him for like an opposite no conference. Or we'll like get something. Of value return. Calgary. Trading for both. We'll trade you to Calgary for Johnny Goudreau. Like get something. We could get uh. Goes through. We could get Matthew Kachuk. Hamilton. We could get you know you could try. Kachuk goes. Anything would work. We could get Matthew. We have a left wing. We already have a left wing. So what? We can trade Kachuk if we need to. Anything. We're trading. We're not trading for a left wing. We're trading for a trade for a trade for a trade for a trade. We need a right wing. If we're gonna trade Dowdy, we at least need a right wing. Okay, they don't have one. That's good. We need a right. Sammy Reinhart would do. Except with one year. Except with one. Well. Yeah. Hell yeah. Pasternak. The pasta man. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Drew Doughty. Yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. Straight up. Pasternak. What? The pasta man. How would we be over the salary cap? <laughs> Drew Doughty. Yeah. Excuse, excuse me? What? Are you sure what? it's not Boston? How would we be over the salary cap? Drew yeah, we'll Doughty. take Mac. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me? Are you sure it's not Boston? How would we be over the salary How good is he? Cap? Yeah, we'll take Mac. Up Mediocre. That's it. Excuse me? And we'll take a second round pick. Dude, they already rejected like, the best offer of Boquist before. And we'll take your second round pick. We'll take a second round pick. And it actually worked. <laughs> oh my god. We just stole a few And it actually worked. <laughs> and our top oh four is scary God. as hell. <laughs> Wait, how many years does Mac Boy have? Three. Okay, good. <laughs> so we have our defensive and core our for at least three seasons. Scary as hell. Oh, yeah, now we can dab on here. Somehow still so misses the, like, doesn't make the second round of the playoffs. I swear. 
somehow shut still misses the. <laughs> oh my god! This kid. If only there was a webcam. All right, here we go. Final <laughs> oh run for the god. president's trophy. Even though it's probably not gonna happen. We actually got weaker. All right, here we go. Final when you really think about it. President's trophy. He'll lead our team. Even though it's probably not gonna happen. We actually got weaker. Right, here more go. defense. Oh, oh, really geez. think about it. <laughs> All right, boys. Only one Nike. McAvoy's. And they destroyed. Oh, it. it was two to one. They destroyed. Right, it's boys. Calgary, dude. They're terrible. And it looks like we're making McAvoy's the playoffs, boys. Somehow find a way to miss right, the Calgary, playoffs. Dude, what? And it looks like we're making 94 the playoffs, points, buddy. Boys. Chill. Somehow find Ow. a way to miss the <laughs> playoffs. <laughs> Nice, nice. We're gonna make the playoffs. <laughs> Nate waits for 47 wins to say that. Oh, Somehow misses it losing every game. <laughs> Nate waits for 47 Savage. wins to say that. Oh, Somehow misses again. it losing every game. We're gonna get 50 wins again. <laughs> Alright, we got five games left to go here. <laughs> 50 wins again. 105 points, boys. Again. 106 points. We didn't. Did. 108 points. 105 points. 110 points. Oh, yeah. Let me put that down in my points. little Excel booklet. 108 points. 105 points. 110 points. Oh, yeah. Let me put that down in my little Excel At least it wasn't the side of your face only this time. You can actually see the rest. Okay. Let me see you here. Just. And the New York Islanders. What about That's the team we face in the playoffs. So what was up? And the New record, York bro. Islanders. And all the stats. What about That's the team we face. Our final in the record in the so season. And the record, New York Islanders. 52. 24 and 6. Final record. Season. All right, we're gonna save so we don't fucking have everything crash on us. Twenty-four and six. Final record. Goals. All right, we're gonna save. So first in the metro, you think? Crash on us. First in the metro, I'm assuming. But I actually didn't check the standings. First in the metro, you think? Crash on us. I actually don't know what place we finished. First in the metro, I'm assuming. But I actually didn't. I mean, I would assume we're first in the division, considering of how many points we had. But I mean. I mean, I would assume we're first in the division, considering of how many points what? we had. But I mean, am I a cat? I mean, I would assume we're first in the division, considering of how. Okay. You gonna check those stand row? Oh, Columbus Blue Jackets. First in the Metro again by two points, and we take on. The New York Columbus Islanders. We actually won the conference. Wow, we didn't score many goals. Points. And we the entire on. league, the President's the Trophy. We actually won seven the goals. conference. Wow, Our goals four per game was shit. The entire league, the President's yeah. Trophy. Actually, it really was shit. Goals. That's down 60 goals. We were like in the bottom six. We were the six worst. But goals against average, however, we had the best goals against average. We literally exactly let in two goals per game. Let's see if I'm gonna have to put a first round exit on. Power play, we literally exactly let in two goals. Not bad actually. And penalty kill must have been insane. Yeah, we had the best penalty kill. In the league. So something worked. Defense. Defense was insane. And our leading scorer is 57. Yeah, we're gonna have to address that. We're gonna have to draft forwards. We thought we were gonna need him. We're gonna draft forwards. All right, boys. Game one. Can we actually get past the first round of the playoffs? Come on! There's no way we can. Game one. Okay, we got one. Oh yeah! We won game one. We won game one. Oh, that doesn't mean check the stats. Now you cursed it. We hey. won game one. Defense we wins won championships, boys, and that's how you stats. do it. 
<laughs> Game one to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Defense wins championship, boys, and that's how you do it. Sim to the next game. Game one. This is the Islanders. They literally placed two wins above 500. Sim to the next game. And our team was just like, this is the Islanders. They literally placed two wins yeah. above 500. First period. And our team was just like, Ooh. And we're up two games to none. Something we haven't First seen period. yet. No, let's see if they pull out the modern Ooh. Columbus Blue Jackets. And we're up two games to none. Tyler Toffoli, score two. Oh, baby. Let's see if they pull out the Sim to the next game. And we're up two games to none. Tyler Toffoli, score two. Oh, baby. Yeah, just start scouting forwards in the panic Sim to the next game. Yep. <laughs> All right, boys, game three. Let's head to yep. game four with a 3 0 series. <laughs> All right, boys, game three. Oh, oh, game four with a 3 0 series. Oh. Well, save. you win some, you lose some. We're up still two games to one. Oh. We know a lot about the losing some. In the play. Well, save. You win some, you Come on, some. this has We're to be the year we finally get past the first round. This will be the year. This will be the year. Let's go, Come man. On, this has to be the Canadians the are about to sweep the Sabers the in an upset. This will be the year. This will be mm. the year. Let's Here we go, boys. Okay. The Canadians are about to sweep Nothing. the Sabers in an upset. Nothing. Oh. Oh, yes. One. Hellebuck shuts it go, down okay. for a game three. Oh, Nothing. For one oh. away. From the oh second guess. round of the playoffs. Hellebuck shuts it down. Do we have a matchup yet, or are we still waiting? One away. So we wait on the champions of Carolina. And, Pitt and Pittsburgh's going for their fifth consecutive cup. I swear, they were waiting. One away. So we wait on the Quinch champions GM. of Carolina. <laughs> and Pittsburgh's <laughs> going for their fifth consecutive we cup. So really? clearly, this we just picked up Drew Doughty and traded him to the re freaking Bruins for Bukavoy in a second round pick. <laughs> All right, first period. All right, we're up two. That's not no. I want a goal. Second period. Okay, they tied it. Third period. And oh! All right, here we go, boys. Can we go to the second round of the playoffs? Okay, they tied. Yes! We're going to the second round of the playoffs. Yes! Go to the second round. Worth a fidget spin, boys. Yes! Oh we're, going to the we're going to the <laughs> second round of the playoffs. Yes. Finally. Jeez. Who do we play? It's Pittsburgh. We're going to the second round of the playoffs. And they're literally Finally. one day away from, one game away from moving on to the next round. It's Pittsburgh. We're going to the second round of the playoffs. And they're literally one day away from, one game away from moving on to the next round. It's Pittsburgh. We're going to the second round of the playoffs. And they're literally one day away. Why is this taking so long? Well, it's Pittsburgh. Get fucked. <laughs> and we're not making it to the conference finals. Well, it's Pittsburgh. Sup. Yo. Get fucked. Sup. <laughs> Show us some schnell, do you mind? we're not making it to the conference finals. <laughs> Sup. It's Bergie. Yeah. Sup. <laughs> we're, um, second round of the playoffs, <laughs> taking on the Pittsburgh Penguins. It's Rematch. Oh boy. <laughs> It's the rematch. Second round of the playoffs, taken on the Literally, Pittsburgh let's look at the awards for a second. Rematch. And just, okay. <laughs> you guys can get just as motivated. Why can't we view the awards? Literally, let's wait, look at buddy. the awards for a second. Rematch. And just, okay. Wait. You guys can get just as motivated. Well, for those of you, in our GM modes, the first two years, the Pittsburgh Penguins won the cup. This is year three. Here we go, game one. Can we end the Pittsburgh's well, reign of terror? The first two years, the Pittsburgh Penguins won the cup. This first period, done. Here Nothing. we go, game one. Second period. Can we end the oh. Pittsburgh yeah. Third period. Of terror? Ooh. Oh, yeah. We smacked Let their bitch. Let's test you. Second period. Oh. Yeah. Third period. Ooh. Oh, yeah. We smacked Let their bitch. Let's test Yo, I eared the stream from your back. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Let's test you. this? There you go. Sorry for my English. I'm a Canadian. I'm Canadian too. No, it's fine. But uh, that's fixed, I believe. Thanks for pointing that out. Nobody else does around here. 
Unless yeah. Martin's loitering around leaving memes in the bot. Yeah, that was kind of bad. All right, here we go. First period of the second game. They got a goal. We got two. Ooh. And we destroy the Penguins. We're two games away from ending their hopes of five straight cups. Can we do it? Can we actually shut down the Penguins? <sighs> okay, boys. We just need to channel this all in for a second. This is the Pittsburgh Penguins. And your point is? And we need to beat these guys. We're back at the PBG Paints Arena, which is apparently it's now called. First you period. Get, you have to Nothing. get better. Second period. What the fuck? Third period. Okay. Overtime. Yeah! <laughs> Hannah Kynan. Hannah Kynan. a boy. Put the Penguins one game away from elimination. Yes, let's go. Get better at your English. Well, I think we all have to get better at our English. And we're one game away from the Stanley <laughs> Cup Conference Finals. Can we do not play the game? <sighs> <laughs> I want to make a trade with San Jose for a real first centerman. Okay. Why San Jose, specifically? Can we go to the conference finals and end the Penguins' hopes? They got a goal. They got two goals. And we get destroyed. That's not a destruction. That was three to nothing. <laughs> it's getting shut out. Getting shut out is getting destroyed. They have to win three. We have to win just one. One. That's all we need is just one game. And we've silenced the Penguins. <laughs> Finally. And there he is. <laughs> Going for the neck. Oh, Jumbo Joe is retiring. I see. And uh, Couture asked too much for his price. Couture is asking too much? Probably. Here we go, game five. Can we do it? Beat the Penguins. Nothing. 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 Overtime. Oh. No. Malkin. No. Okay. Do you have any recommendations for a real first centerman for Couture and Jumbo Joe oh. game six they've won back to back now they gotta stop otherwise we're not this this can't be happening right no this can't be okay we're on to the conference finals yes we silenced the penguins and we're off to round three. Sit down. Sit down, Pittsburgh. Who's and we're off to take on the Boston Bruins. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What the We're taking on Drew Doughty. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's come back to bite us in the ass. All right, we're going to save here real quick just so everything, in case anything crashes, we just kind of can come back. I mean, you could trade them all for just a bunch of draft picks and tank as San Jose, but I don't think that's an option at this time. The Jets are on to the conference finals, too. And guess who else? The Wild. What? <laughs> the Wild. Hmm. That's as far as they're going to go, let's be honest. Aw, she does it too. <laughs> the sexy side of the face. Mmm, I love that hair. The fuck? <laughs> Let's get this started, bro. All right, boys. This is our run to the Stanley Cup Finals. Can we do it? First period. Oh, what a save. Second period. Oh, we're still in it. Oh, and we and lost. And we lose 3-1. And let's look at the three stars just to see. Oh, no, okay, it's not. No Drew Doughty. <laughs> Come on, boys. it high top six. Okay. What's his overall? How old is he? 
We'll check. We'll check his overall when it comes time to the draft. But we're still in the playoffs, and we can't really check at the moment. Actually, yes, we can. We just have to view the lineup. After this game, we will. Yeah, just a sec. And game three goes to the Blue Jackets. Or not game three. I'm done. Game, game two. two goes to the Blue Jackets. Shout out. All right. Shout out for this guy. For the Hellebuck guy. All right, let's check out the ring cat. If we can even find him. Let's check it out. Chicago. Should he if he's on still that? on that team. Okay, so he has a high top six, 22 years old, 84 overall. Pretty solid. Is he? What's his contract look like? Oh, he's about to get paid. Okay, on his, it's a 19-year-old and 83 overall. Well, I mean, we did play three seasons of this. Yeah. So it's quite possible that that was just at the very start. This is year number three, so he probably grew in that time. I don't know if he's a, he's a top centerman. He would be for like to um, replace Kachur and Jumbo though. Hmm. I don't know about that. First period, nothing. Four shots for the Jackets. This is how our playoffs is going. Second period, oh boy. Third period, okay. Boston shot us down in this one. Yeah. He didn't grow on ours, so he went up one overall. <laughs> Yeah, he went up one, so maybe just like maybe he'll have a ceiling, and it's like around the 84, 85 mark. It's possible. I don't know. That makes me considerably worried though about Kakanami though for our player, for our team. Let's trade him. We're not gonna trade him. Not he yet. could turn out to be really good. And like Joe Valeno was. Mm -hmm. Joe Valeno was a bust in our Vegas GM mode, but he would turn out to be really good on my Seattle GM mode. Drafted him third overall, and he became a 91 overall. So I mean, I guess it's all about the team that develops him. And the Blue Jackets <laughs> are tied up here. Game number five, boys. This could be anyone's game. It's a best of three right now. How does... Okay, Boston is 43-31-8, and, and we're 52-24-6, and six, and we're they're keeping up with us. In fact, they've been ahead of us. We haven't led a series yet. Maybe they won all their games with Dowdy. Maybe. It's possible. Let's take game number five here, boys. This is it. This is the momentum swinging game. Overtime, boys. Double overtime. Are uh, you joking right who? now? Heinen? Are you? He's like a fourth, third line forward, I think, in this game. No. And they bring the Jackets to one game from elimination. Really good series from last time, though. I mean, at least. This has been a lot better than our NHL 07 Columbus GM mode, where we had the most. Mm. Hold on. Just How's a he sure he says? I want to imagine he's pretty good. View lines. At his third season. He's with the Devils, obviously, because the Devils probably wouldn't give him up at this point. Unless they're retarded. 88. 88. Elite 21. And first line forward. So there's an option if you can uh, haul out the value. <laughs> mm -hmm. I imagine his value is extremely high. He may be a player I consider, especially... Okay, game six. If we lose, we go home. If we win, we have game seven. First period. Second period. Third period. Oh, and we <laughs> live. We're one game from the finals. Come on. This can't be. If it's, if it's been going how it has been the whole series, I don't want to say it. Because we're going to win. <laughs> where we will take this game and we'll shove it up their sphincters. And we're going to win. We're going to go to the finals. Okay? We're going to go to the finals and we're going to win. Oh, the wild are out. Here we go. The winner faces the Jets. Here we go. First period. Oh, no. Second period. Oh, no. And the winner. Boston Holy Bruins <laughs> smack the shit out of the Columbus Blue Jackets and send us home in the third round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Well, we made some leaps. 
We definitely have, but that also leaves for a lot of expectations next season. Like, Tyler Toffoli. <laughs> like, we need scoring. That's what stopped us from winning games. We could have, like, if you have legitimate scoring, you could advance. I mean, we scouted a bunch. Well, we didn't scout forwards. What am I talking about? At the end, we did. <laughs> He's actually having a decent trade value, yeah? I mean, I would imagine so. He wouldn't be a bad player to go after. I mean, if we really want to, and the Boston Bruins win the Stanley Cup, we trade Drew Doughty. And he wins. <laughs> and he wins. I mean, we made it to the third round. I don't know if we would have done that with him. It's possible, but we wouldn't have got anything for him. So We have a defenseman, and we have a second-round pick. However, yeah, we will have an extremely a, low pick. Like, probably 27th or some shit. 28th. Yeah. View retired players who is retired. Maybe even 29th. No one for us. Iggy. Iggy has finally called it quits. Sim to the draft. All right, first let's check the awards for a second, okay? Because I promised I'd show this earlier, and no one really saw. Look at this! Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh, 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 Pittsburgh Penguins. We finally won the President's Trophy, so that was nice. Oh, Did yeah. we win any awards, notably, at all? Nothing. Anywhere? Shveknikov won the Calder. Hellebuck won. Hey, back-to-back. -back, or no, not back-to-back -back years. But hey, our goalie won the Vesna. And the Jennings. Third round. Lawson. But hey, that was solid. Oh my god. First round. Pit. They destroyed us. I'm legitimately disappointed that we lost in the third round how close we were to the finals with this team but this showed legitimate steps okay so let's look at the draft class real quick huge draft class what do we got what Nothing. do we got here we may have to use that defensive prospect oh my oh, lord God. Lafreniere we have Eves oh shit oh no we may have to trade for that first pick. We want that franchise player. What are we going to give? Here you go. Oh. Oh, and our pick? <laughs> I would trade one of our top defensemen and, like, anything for him. Carlson. He's turning into a bust. Take a pleb. I think it's a better choice for me to rebuild a team. Trust me, we we've we, we we've done it sort of. That pick? No, nah, it didn't work. You gave up on the franchise player. Mhm. Mm Are you gonna try and trade up or? I would like to, but like I just don't see it happening, especially if I want to keep our prospects. I think Carlson needs to go on the trading block anyway. When's our first pick? We don't pick till the 29th <laughs> spot. I'm kind of just going to let this happen because it's a weak draft here. Let's see how good this guy is, though. Eves. I mean, he'll go up. Parsi. Rubovsky. Guerrero. Lafreniere. Lafreniere is going to take a while. I am at, they weren't wrong when they said this year was weak. Alright, what can we get? A 70. Nice scouting, boys. Well, they got a elite defenseman. And an elite goalie. Or center, sorry. <laughs> Good luck. An 82. Well. Okay. Right. Alright. Alright, let's... If they can do it, we can do it. Thomas Shabbat is really good for his first year. Any exacts? 
No. 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 Nothing is worth taking right now. Only top nine. And we're not going for a top nine right now. Mm. We will, however, try for this guy. Why him specifically? Or him, sure. We'll try him. Well, it could be worse. Not bad. For a low first round pick, I'll take it. Longer. Whoa. Calm down. Oh, I'm tired, bro. Thought about work. No, I'm just... And we're taking the fantastic Finn, and he turned into shit. Why would you take that guy? Oh so, my god. Yeah, go back to your Snapchat and side of your face. <laughs> How about 7D exact? No, we're taking the center. Nice. Hmm. That second pick we got turned into nothing. You're taking less gambles, buddy. These weren't gambles. I'm just taking the best available. Yeah, and the best available aren't very good. What are you messaging? Like, I couldn't get my shift covered. Uh, and then she sends you a picture of her face. That's too bad, honey. You say, <laughs> then you send it again. Sorry. Lazarev. You finally broke out of the slump. Sort of. I'm a Shabbat. Wait. What a save. Congratulations. There are really no players in this draft. They were not incorrect. Good thing we didn't get a bunch of picks for this year. Oh, yeah. We didn't. Or the exact top 60. Take it or leave it. Exact top nine. Well, I mean... 47 overall. How does one achieve that? That's one shit player. It'll take a quadrillion years to actually turn into something. You're going to take the top six this time. If he's still there. Uh, That's awkward. We'll take the Italian. Oh, no. We'll take McGilney. Oh, yeah. This is awkward. Oh, oh, I am first in the Pacific Division. Well, the rebuild might not be on then. <laughs> That's awkward. It's a record play like three games to say you're on top because that means nothing by the way we learned that the hard way back in NHL 7 we were literally like 15 games above 500 and then our team found a way to fall into 8th place by the end of the year alright we're taking patch already the right wing hey hey, hey guys that actually isn't a shitty pick Chris Carter here that actually isn't a shitty pick. Why didn't you just take the elites like last time? Because fuck you. <laughs> wow. Korolev. Here we go, boys. Oh. Well, I mean, low top six isn't terrible. This is what happens when you don't scout forwards as well. And you go balls deep in defensemen only. Well, because I thought we were going to need them, and then all of a sudden we picked up McAvoy, and that kind of just went out the freaking tube. McAvoy. McAvoy. Oh, we got a low elite. 55, though. That's good. Low elite's better than nothing. Good trade bait. We're not trading him. I'm trading him. Off screen. Get Jumbo Joel Thornton. <laughs> we're not getting... For fuck's sake. Nice. Top six forward. Here we go. Bottom. Well, I mean, it could be worse. Any elites? Low elites. We got part of the low elite fun. <laughs> what 
are you going to do with this pick? Sweet cheeks. We're continuing to draft forwards. We're going to draft the centerman. He's 63 overall, though. He's higher overall than the others. We're not. Henrik, why aren't you shutting it down, bro? Well, we have a lot of picks. I told you. I told you. Once you... I was telling you. Why are you doing this? That was a good pick. Mm. Low top six, 64 overall. Mm. A lot of picks. And we're going to trade them all. We're not trading them all. Some of them? Maybe some of them. I don't know. Like the low elite. No, we're not simming the low elite. Simming the low elite. We're not trading the low elite. <laughs> I think it's time to shut it down. I think we're pretty close anyhow, though. Mm -hmm. So I gotta work tomorrow like a loser. What time do you work? 10 to 6. Oh, rip. So if you guys want to start donating me a bunch of money so we can do this all the time, that'd be great. But I'm not going to force you. No one can remember that. Holy crap, we're not going to have any money to sign anyone. <laughs> Just getting followers is difficult enough at this time. Alright, we'll come back to this another day. We hope you all enjoyed it. Hey, where's our special cake at the end? Special cake? Yeah, you're supposed to buy me a McFlurry. No. Yeah. So, if you enjoyed this, please uh, tell Cameron to get me a McFlurry. <laughs> Nice one. And we'll be back with a stream probably sometime next week. I mean, me and Martin will be on tomorrow from 7 to 9 Pacific time. <laughs> Man, have a good one, everyone. Thank you for joining us. And goodbye. See you.